Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And you can... Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, first of all, I want to thank you for your patience because uh, uh, you were here 10 to 10 and it, we really meant for you not to wait as long as you did but uh, still I want to appreciate the fact that you actually went to the trouble of staying here. I know it's compulsory, you had to, you couldn't leave but still thank you for not leaving. Uh, okay, let me first tell you something about the project. Um, these people, 24 in total, from five, actually six different countries, including our own. The Netherlands, we've got France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, and Czech Republic. And uh, these have all each uh, chosen four of their best musical uh, geniuses. And they've come together, they've convened in our music rooms. We've had four. And as you can see, we've got a wide variety of all sorts of different uh, exotic instruments and they know how to play them. I didn't even see them before today, but they actually know what to do with them. You're going to see that today and you're going to hear that today. They've been working together, four groups in total. Each has uh, one representative of each of the six countries. So each group is six persons. And they've seen and read and analysed and thought about a poem. And that poem has been converted into a musical rendition. Just like yesterday, you um, had a look at a few poems and made a visual representation, they made a musical representation. I can tell you a lot about this, and I, I probably have told you more than I should. Let's uh, do away with all the pleasantries. Let's do away with all the talking, and let's instead listen to what these people have come up with. Give them a big round of applause, and give them your undivided attention for the next hour. Okay, you've just listened to uh, the first poem by this group and uh, they're going to move immediately onwards to their second poem. A few words about this poem. I know uh, V4, VW04 has been listening to me explaining literature for uh, probably too many lessons to pay attention now, but I'll try. This poem is about a construction site. We'll first visit a construction site and you'll hear that in the rendition. 
But really, this poem is about how does the construction worker feel about his role? Because on the one hand, you're a construction worker, you're creating, you're making beautiful things, beautiful buildings. But on the other hand, you're also destroying because you're taking down stuff. Nature makes place for mankind. And is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? You'll notice and you'll hear their interpretation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, uh, one minute before entering the stage, one of the strings of the cello broke. So, give a round of applause for Clara, who is trying to play with three strings instead of four. Okay, our first poem is about a teacher who kills all his, his uh, noisy and loud students. So let that be a lesson for you all. And this poem is being read by Lauren. Give it up for the lesson.
theme for today is violence, and home will well be set. I'm going to teach you a lesson, one that you'll never forget. He picked on a boy who was shouting. I told him then and there. Then, where did the girl behind him, the one with body hair? Then, sword in hand, he hacked his way between the shattering rows. First come, first stepped, he declared. Fingers, feet, or toes. He threw the sword at a late cover and struck with deadly aim. Then, pulling out a shotgun, he continued with his game. The first blast cleared the back row where those in the sky hang out. They collapsed like rubber dingies when the plugs pulled out. Please, may I leave the room, sir? A trembling candle inquired. Of course you may, said the teacher, but you went to his temple and fired. The hat of the hat running go away to see why it was being made. Both understandingly and trusting the grenade. When the ammo was well spent, with blood in every chair, Silent shuffled forward with his hands up in the air. The teacher surveyed the carnage, the dying and the dead. He read all the fingers severely. Now, let it be a lesson, he said. Okay, that was the lesson for you. <laughs> now, uh, the second poem is about a panther. And as we all know, panthers are, are from South America. <laughs> but this panther is not in South America. He is being caged. And uh, this panther is in a cage. And of course, he's uh, feeling very depressed because he, he's not in the wide open. So our... Uh, our poem is about a locked panther who is depressed, but somewhere in the depressed panther there is still this South American uh, heart. So we are gonna make music to that. The panther.
we've got the first one is called Full Moon, and it obviously it talks about full moon and what effects that has on people and the way their love might be influenced by the moon and the stars and the black holes in the universe. The second poem that we've got is called Beagle or something, and it's about a woman who's sitting in a car and is going through an extreme midlife crisis. Um, and that midlife crisis is made worse by music from Beagle, but we'll just do full moon first. De lucht en het er de gensters van liefde. De symfonie van vuur sloeg een zwart gat in ons heen. De kring waarop meisjes de volle maan balanceren. Een monotone toon kringelt de jaren als jaarlingen van jou en mij. Raadselringen op een meer van zuchten. En het water verzoent zich met het vuur. De vuurcirkel drijft op het meer. Op het immer kringelde vuur. Composer's name was Beagle or something. One of those Brits 
to make the world wistful with chorales and canticles. And this piece, tone, poem, or what have you, chimes and strings as well, dangerous for one whose eyelids and sockets have been rushing from tears. Gone, blown away, never again. 
all your life you walk on a thousand roads. On your walk, you see those who forgot you. An eye beckons, the soul shines, you found it only for seconds. Two foreign eyes, one short glimpse, the brows, pupils, the lids. What was that? No man turns back in time. Gone, blown away, never again. On your walk, you have to wander through cities. You see, for a heartbeat, the foreign other. It can be an enemy, it can be a friend. It can, in battle, be your comrade. It glances over and passes by. Two foreign eyes, one short glimpse, the brows, pupils, the lids. What was that? of that false man with a bit. Gone, blown away, never again.
gentlemen, this was our performance, but before you go, a few more formalities. Um, I'd like to see up here... <laughs> I'd like to see uh, in front of the stage uh, Erin and Michiel, who've been helping us all this time. And uh, for them especially, a special thank you, a special applause for these two gentlemen who've lent their knowledge, who've lent their musical instruction to these groups. These two gentlemen made it possible. Uh, and of course I'd like to thank also uh, all the other staff that have been involved. But first and foremost, the people we need to thank, we want to see up here, you've seen them before, I'd like to see each and every one of those 24 musicians who've made themselves the subject of this stage. This project has seen six countries bond together, not even not the countries themselves, but also the people in them, the people that are represented here. You can't tell whether they are Dutch, whether they are German, whether they are any of those other nationalities, because what this week has seen, what, what this week has shown us, is that uh, we can bond together, we can create unity, and we can create also some lovely music. So give it up one last time for each and every one of those 24 musicians. And our last thank you goes out to you for uh, listening, to paying attention. Thank you. And hopefully it might one day be the case that we see each other again.